Alderman Roderick Sawyer's bid to be Chicago's next mayor is facing some tough odds. He doesn't have a big campaign war chest. He's lacking some of the big endorsements that his opponents have. But the alderman tells CBS2 political investigator Dana Kozloff he's not deterred. I want to give you real, honest answers based on solid knowledge, based on my experience, based on others' experience that are way smarter than I. Roderick Sawyer has been the sixth ward alderman for 12 years. We want to make sure we get this right. But Mayor Lori Lightfoot's hand-picked health and human relations chairman is giving up his council seat in hopes of heading to City Hall's fifth floor. But what you could continue to serve is alderman, so why specifically mayor? Well, I've attempted to engage and work with the current mayor and it just was quite honestly a little bit frustrating. Uh, I could not uh, talk to her about some of the things we were trying to do. One of the things Sawyer would do if elected is hire more police officers. I don't know what that number is, but what I will do as mayor is hire a police superintendent that will give me that, that information that has that subject matter knowledge and that trust from the rank and file. Someone, he says, from within current CPD ranks who shares his idea of policing with, quote, geographic integrity. You want officers, even if they were going to one or two beats, you want them in that same area, which is the geographic integrity part. Thereby reducing the number of tactical or citywide units. But recruiting new police officers is an ongoing problem in Chicago. One incentive Sawyer supports is allowing officers to retire after 20 years instead of 29. And in that way, we can also recycle officers, get younger officers in the uh, department constantly. And overall, I think it would reduce our cost. <laughs> And the son of former mayor Eugene Sawyer also wants more officers patrolling the CTA. But how do you do that if there's already an officer shortage? One of the things I have proposed in a plan we've put out is we reallocate some certain officers. Officers, for example, at uh, the airport. Reviewing all city departments and spurring development, especially in hard hit areas, are also priorities with a focus on helping small developers. He's proposing a concierge permitting process whereby developers could pay a premium to get their permits faster. Wouldn't that still give the advantage to wealthy companies and developers over the smaller developers though because they can afford to pay for it and now it's easier for them to get their permit? Well, part of that reset again is reforming the entire building department. Even though he voted to close some of the city's mental health clinics years ago, Sawyer now wants to beef up existing clinics and then expand those services. And he stated he can't promise he won't raise property taxes. The one thing people don't know about him, he's an amateur DJ. In the newsroom, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Joe and Erica. All right, Dana, thank you.